Rowan, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Rowan. My pronouns are they, them. I just started here, uh, uh, start of the week here. Uh, largely a graphic artist, but very into doing all the physical stuff and looking forward to helping out around here. And it was a really good week to have you start because on Monday we began training with Aaron from ShopBot. So you weren't here last week putting it together, but Corey, yeah. you were here all week for the assembly. What did you think about that? Yeah, it was great actually having someone from ShopBot. Uh, Aaron, awesome dude. So glad he got to come out and uh, really show us uh, you know, about this machine put together. As you can see, it's a big machine. And so having someone who knew what they were doing and getting it done in a week, whereas Ben and I probably could have put it together, but it would have taken a lot longer. So getting to see this awesome machine come together by someone who knew what they were doing, it was amazing. We really learned a lot, and we're already putting those skills you know, to action. Working on adding on to our little storage unit out here. We're making a spot where our huge vacuum pump is going to live. So we're going to build a platform here. The vacuum pump will go here. We'll get it all wired in for our amazing shop bot that's getting installed. And then we'll close it up to match the shed. So Sounds everything good. is outside that is noisy. Perfect. The end of day one. It's a big machine.
Yeah, and so the, the training was interesting. It wasn't like some course. It was, okay, we're just gonna make stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so we did, and we made some interesting things. I made this pinwheel, um, found a pattern, and, and we actually cut it out a couple times because I wanna make a bunch of these in different scales, and, and that was kind of fun just to see how we could make something 3D you know, cut flat. So, um, Corey, what'd you make with the, Absolutely. with our time with Aaron? So I made a couple things. I wanted to test out making this dice tray. I got to use some beautiful old aged redwood. And so basically we're using the, uh, the pocket system on the shop bot to where I didn't have to cut out, you know, little panels to piece in there. This is one solid piece of redwood. Uh, basically we pocketed out where you will roll the dice, a little holder over here to hold the dice some magnets inserted for a lid that I'm gonna make later that I'm gonna do some cool etching and stuff too. But yeah, I mean, just using that machine, something that would take by hand, you know, got this knocked out in less than 10 minutes really. And it's really awesome, just beautiful old, old aged redwood. And then also, another cool thing is you can turn trash to treasure. So we found just this really old scrap of plywood added some paint to it, found this awesome image. And with this machine, it can literally go in and carve this image and look at all the detail it preserved. So this is basically an artist's dream because that's what we all are here. We're all artists and always making things. And so with this, it's just possible to make so many really cool designs and, and awesome stuff. Yeah, it turned out really well. And how about you, Rowan? So. I primarily come from a 3D environment. I use a lot of 3D modeling, and so we wanted to test out how well this handled 3D models. So I 3D modeled this coffin-shaped dice box, and it's got the notches there for you to put your dice in on the inside in a rolling tray. And so we were just seeing how it handled importing that model into the software and how it acted when actually trying to cut that out. There are still a few things to figure out there, but it's very much on the way. Yeah, it turned out really well, and what a great way to learn. Thank you, Aaron, so much yes, for, uh, for being patient with us and teaching us a lot and made for a really great week. Yes. My favorite thing so far with the ShopBot is the ability to cut pieces for printing. I'm a printmaker, and I usually do linoleum cuts um, cut by hand, and that's great, and I never want to stop doing that. But the ability to cut simple things with this machine or cut rough shapes and then do all the finish work by hand is really exciting. So I wanted to try this out making business cards. I haven't actually done that for itinerant yet. So I tried cutting the same designs out of linoleum, Easy Carve, and MDF, and then printed them on my 100 something year old Kelsey Excelsior small press here. The machine did a great job, especially with the linoleum and the MDF, but really the linoleum. I'm really excited for what we're gonna be able to do with this, and also excited to take this brand new technology and this really old printing equipment and combine them to do something really exciting.